Hello and welcome back. This time we do a very similar thing like in the last video, but this time we are not using our our photo resistor, which is changing its resistance value with with light. This time we're using this little black dot thing here, which is really really small as you can see it. Uh, this thing is a so-called thermistor. This thing changes its value with temperature. Okay, so with this little thing we can we can uh, measure temperature just by measuring the voltage. We will again use a voltage divider with this uh, resistor, which changes its value according to temperature, and this resistor. And this time it's a 10K, 10 kilo ohm resistor as counterpart. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So I will again use the resistor from the fixed resistor from ground to the measurement point. Measured potential. Duck, duck. It's in. Now these little things are really tiny, put it in, yeah. of course we again have to use 5 volts here on this side and we would have to measure from this point again to our analog input. I'll plug it in. Bim, bim, bim. We are online. Good. Lights are still uh, lights are still on. This means, well, probably, probably this is working fine. Okay. Uh, I will now uh, download. Download the code. I still have the same the same code. Watch on the serial monitor after downloading has been finished. Download it finished. Here we have. Currently we are at fifty one percent. If I'm now touching this thermistor, and ah, uh -huh, you see it's changing changing the value, the value is going up because my hand is warmer than the room. Yeah. Now I'm releasing it again. You see the value is going down. Okay, so that's not too bad. Something happens here. We can even look at it with the serial plotter. So we should see the temperature falling and rising. So we'll touch it again. Yeah, here you go. It's warming up. In the ver if I release it, it's cooling down again. This is working. Good. Yeah. But I mean, right now, Right now, there is written on the serial monitor, there is written, uh, you know, some raw value, some number value from the digital analog digital converter. Then I know the percentage and I know the volts. But what I don't know is the temperature, right? And I want to read the temperature. So we need somehow the the relationship between temperature and resistance value of this little this little device this little thermistor okay there are several classes first of all uh, change of resistance when changing the temperature is quite a common thing okay? every Every metal makes it, and so on. Yeah, so that's that's usual. 
There is even a whole class using exactly this method, exactly this method to 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 measure temperature. Yeah. Let's make it this way. Exactly this method to measure temperature. Yeah. It's the temperature resistor measurement yeah? method. There's a separate video about this. You can watch if you have, if you want to. Yeah. So that's a very common thing. A very, very often and widely used is is uh, metal as as resistor, which is called platinum. Yeah? Platinum is very common, commonly used in these resistors. However, metals do have one big disadvantage. Yeah, the the change in resistor value is rather small. Yeah, how many ohm per degree Celsius or per degree Fahrenheit or how or Kelvin? Oh, Kelvin is good. Yeah, use the SE. Yeah, how many ohm per Kelvin the change rate is is very is very uh, low on 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 metals. Yeah? Then there was discovered, and you should also know, usual the usual way is that the at small temperatures the resistance is low, and at high temperatures the resistance the resistance is high. That's the very normal thing, let's say. Yeah, with uh, semiconductors, then there were elements found or 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 things found. Let's call it things. Yeah, uh, semiconductors found, which have which do change uh, much more ohm by Kelvin, yeah, to a much to do have a much higher uh, change change of the of the value. That's good, yeah, because the sensitivity is high. Yeah, if the change of the temperature just needs to be a little, yeah, and the the ohms are already changing a lot, then we have high sensitivity. That's not too a bad thing, yeah. And then there are even two classes, two classes of of uh, semiconductor materials. One is called PTC, positive temperature coefficient. This means if the temperature is rising, also the the resistor value is rising. It's a PTC, positive temperature coefficient. Here we do have. A so-called NTC, a negative temperature coefficient. This means the colder it gets, the more the resistance will be. Yeah? So it's exactly the opposite of normal uh, metal metal uh, thermometer, thermometer. Okay. So, but but why aren't we using those? type of things always yeah why are we not using I first said a very common thing is the platin yeah and now I'm telling you platin makes less sensitivity than than uh, uh, the semiconductor materials and there is even a material which change in the other way yeah the big 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 disadvantage of these semiconductor materials is their non-linearity yeah so it makes a difference if we measure between, I don't know, around freezing or if we measure around boiling temperature of water, of course. Yeah. It's a total, we then have totally different sensitivity. There, metal is much better. Yeah. We can use metal in a broader range of temperature areas simply. Yeah. And the sensitivity is always constant. In the script, in the script, you do have you do have this curve yeah that's the curve of exactly of exactly this little this little uh, NTC so you see if the temperature is getting low the resistor value is raising yeah rising raising rising and if the temperature is getting high the resistor value is dropping and you see here the gradient, the change per Kelvin is much higher than here. Yeah, so this means here the sensitivity of this thermistor is much higher than here, and that's exactly the the big disadvantage. Okay, that's exactly the big disadvantage of these uh, of these semiconductor materials. 
However, we can linearize this. Yeah? We can simply make our Arduino do the math to, 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 to calculate the degree out of it. Yeah? Also in script, you do have the correct formula. Yeah? So this is the analog read. We we'll read the analog value here. Then with this we do some mathematic operations. There is a logarithm and then we multiply and, and add some constants. Yeah? And suddenly we have the temperature in degree Celsius. You see, nu is just a log. I hope all of you know the logarithm function. Yeah? In C it's just log bracket number bracket close and it's just expect floating point okay. so this is the thing to come from 0 to 1023 yeah, to the temperature and degree celsius i will also post this this uh, little piece of code in the video description yeah, so that you can cope and paste and do not have to type it your task okay your task is you should you should do the thing here yeah? and there should be a printout of the temperature value in on the serial monitor this is how it should look like the printout of the current temperature you see here in the touch it is going up okay and if I release, it's going down again. So we do have temperature measurement with our Arduino. So long, have fun with this, good luck, and hear you next time. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.